Hello everyone, my name is Nick, and in this video, I'd like to discuss what the general idea of a team is and some benefits team, team members provide. With this information, I hope you will be able to know what makes a great team and to possibly help any current or future team members watching this. I reached out to a smart friend of mine for his opinion on a team. His response was, quote, a team, a good team, is an absolute benefit. Division of labor is always good. It's important to know that a team is good because in the end, the work will be easier for everyone. Everyone does their load. Remember that the team needs to be working together. Think of all the times where you had to work in a group and there was this, and you made an assignment, and there was this one guy who didn't do it the next morning, so you had to deal with that pain in the neck. Everyone had that moment. That is the antithesis of a functional team. Everyone needs to pull their weight or do their load. And that's what makes teams good. Remember, division of labor is always good. To have an excellent team, the following points should be considered in no particular order. Number one, have some sort of connection with your teammates. You should talk to your teammates, get to know them, be friends with them, have a bond. It is no, no help that you're going to know this person as, oh, that's the guy who is in my group. Now, I know it is possible to hate everyone and still have a functional team. Look at professional football. They're in it for the money. The teammates don't really matter to them. They're not important. It's a good example of it. But when you enjoy your time with your group, it makes it easier to stay committed. Number two, adaptability. As an event takes place, things might go wrong. You, it's not going to go perfect. Being adaptable is being able to adjust to any changes throughout whatever the problem relates to. Getting a group of people that understand how you work, how you work and can change to meet a team's needs improves productivity a ton. Number three, diversity between group members. It is important to have a team member with different skills or knowledge. Having the same guy isn't going to help you. It is important to have team members with different skill sets that can bring to the table for your group as a whole. Once you do, you can give team members specific roles. Connected to my next tip is number four, using your teammates the best way possible. And this is um, imp important if you could do it right. You need to take account each member's weakness, strengths, skills, and give them the right job that could suit them to make them do the best work. A simple example of this is when you need someone to make a film trailer. To do this, you need someone who is good, skilled, and loves video editing. So give that to that guy who qualifies for that. Whatever needs to be done, give, the per give it the job to the person who can do it well. While hard work is always important, natural talent combined with effort is far better than effort alone. The last tip is coming at number five making high quality decisions. So in other words, just making strong decisions. I do have a visual up there showing what makes a high quality decision, but the following should happen. Identify the situation, gather information, weighs pros and cons, take action, and when it comes with a team, you need to have their support and input. So there you have it. Those are five tips on how to make an amazing team. I have fun typing the script uh, just hear what you guys think. If you have any tips I didn't say, comment below. The only tip I didn't mention is an obvious one, which is respect your teammates, but we kind of already know you got to be nice to everyone. It would help. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.